right? There we go. I'm ready. Okay. All right. Hey, everybody. It's Kevin and Suzanne and Manny. There's Manny. Go see Manny. All right. Hey, come here, Manny. Right? Right? Oh, Piper, is she out? Okay. All right, everybody, I want, I want to give kudos here. Come here, because it's important. All right, everybody. hey, everybody, I'm Kevin. My friends call me the tortoise guy, right, over there. And, uh, you know, first of all, I want to thank you all for watching and for, uh, you know, for being there for us and for supporting for the last couple of years that we've been uh, slowly building our channel. We just passed, oh, look at it, and Sweet Piper. Oh, I know, huh? And who's not out here? Rocky. Great, great Rocky, huh? Because he won't come out, right? Uh huh. Um, and uh, so, no, I want to thank, I want to thank Manny. I met Manny in the park like a year ago, right? Yeah. And on the bench and everything, and, and <laughs> pipe, pipe is going crazy for pipe Suzanne, is. right? And I asked him, I was like, hey, I could use help. I do tortoise. I, I have tortoises. Can you? Would you be? You know? Would you be interested in helping? I said yes. I've been here since, right? And it's great. And then Suzanne is the next door neighbor and good friend of Diane. Diane is no longer here. She's here. She's but she's now in a retirement home, right? And so, so there's a video coming out on her last day. Not really. She'll come and visit, you know. But like for 20 years, she's been with me and with us, right? So very emotional day. Very fun day. All right. Who else is out right now? Okay, check it out. And this is a little bit concerning. Okay, I'm gonna open this up a little bit. So, who has been out early again, everybody? This is our beautiful, you know, female. I'm gonna pick her up. Oh, oh, right there. Okay, who is this, everybody? Oh, this is this is Shy Girl, as you all uh, may know. Okay, Shy Girl, Tracy. Hey, Tracy, you know who's out here somewhere? Look over there in the corner. Over. There. So, this is Shy Girl. Ever see him down there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, Tracy, we'll, we'll get Punk out for you, okay? okay? Punk has been out a lot, Tracy, because of you. Saying, hey, let him out with the big guys. So I do, okay? And we still do the videos. So here's the thing with Shy Girl. Mary Stars, Mary. Yay. No, this is, this, is, this is coffee, okay? So coffee is another African cicada that was born here. Shy Girl it was born here seven and a half years ago, right? And... Uh, and look at she's not that shy anymore, everybody. Okay, she's growing up. She still gets into trouble and stuff. But you know who really gets into trouble now? Brother, really stepbrother, same dad, Max, right? She's but punk is cool. what's that? Punk is so, so cool. Punk is so cool. He's gonna come out. There's not many tortoises out. Why? Because it's cold. It's still cold. It's warming up. The sun's out, and the baby tortoises are in the house. Okay, and so who has taken over? Oh. Come on, let's show who is it. Look at Piper. Piper is going crazy. This is Punk. Punk is a Mediterranean, right? All right, you know, but he's great, right? Punk is a Mediterranean tortoise. We have over twelve species here of tortoises right now. We did an inventory. We have two volunteers come on Monday and Tuesday. They work for a, uh, a another company. It's a nonprofit, okay? And we're a nonprofit, so it's really cool. Mondays and Tuesdays, they come and they help. So we did a full inventory because with the nine babies and stuff, I'm, I lost count exactly what we have. We have 46 tortoises right now, 46. So we're at capacity, right? And we need your help soon for our um, rehoming, okay? Because a lot of these guys need rehomed. Punk is going to stay here because Punk, you know, sir, sir. so Punk is a Mediterranean tortoise. Tortoises have lots of different personalities. And Punk has a pretty unique personality, one-on-one. -on -one, and Punk came from a celebrity. How about this? Punk came from a woman by the name of Sean Derrick, Bo Derrick's stepdaughter. Remember Bo Derrick? Yeah. Of course, right? And uh, stepdaughter found her, her Punk in her backyard a few years ago. A lot of tortoises come here through crazy circumstances, found in yards or whatever it might be, right? And uh, so she 
found out about me. She brought this dude over. She brought all her stuff for Bo Derek, her, her, her mother, and John Derek, her husband, very famous actor, right? So that's coming up in an episode, and she's super funny in that. So she brings him here and thinks that he's just the sweetest tortoise because he was just by himself, right? But you get Punk out, is the name we gave him, Punk. She saw right then and there when we brought Punk out. Let's see what he'll do, okay? He may not right now because he's, he's just warming up, right? But what Punk likes to do is smack everybody. Yeah, he headbutts them. Bam, 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 right? He headbutts them. And the thing, too, he bites everybody. So because he's little, there's Piper. Come here, come here, young lady. Hey, right here. Piper just wants everybody's love, huh? The, the dogs are great. They don't bother the tortoises, huh? They keep up. But, but he headbutts everybody. That's a common behavior, actually, with a lot of tortoises, okay? It's an aggression, and it's also, like, for mating. You know, a lot of times a male will smack the female, and it's not nice. Amy, Amy Aquino was here, the actress, last year, and she watched this little guy smack a female and she's very funny she had a lot of things to say about it so check out the playlist amy aquino right okay shy girl is alarming us why why is she alarming us because yeah you know that she laid if you guys have been watching the video she laid an incredible 83 eggs okay incredible three batches right it's three batches okay three batches six weeks apart all right and we're gonna go see the babies in a minute okay and it's gonna be a short live stream today because there's a lot going on right and uh so here's what's alarming shy girl after laying an incredible 83 eggs this is pretty funny look pie, but right oh look at those coming down Okay. Anyways, we're a little alarmed. Let's just say we're a little alarmed because she's been coming out at eight, six a.m., five in the night, and that is the behavior that she exhibited when she was laying eggs before. So it's like, how can this girl be laying so many eggs? I talked to Dr. Shackley, and she said, though it's not usual, it's not completely uncommon that this species is off the hook with how many eggs they can lay, right? Okay, so come here. I want to show you guys. Okay. <laughs> and talk about getting into stuff, right? They will they will get into it. Okay. And if you're thinking about um re if you're thinking about us when uh there is a Max Jr. Okay. We have we we have this is this is Max's son. Okay. This is Max's son. Okay. Unlike Max, though, Max is the gentle giant, right? This one's a bit aggressive, you know? This is this is beautiful coffee, you know, who's actually fostered by a beautiful 14-year-old girl named Annabelle slash Teddy slash slash Ray, okay? And, uh, and, 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 and she fosters this guy and fosters his sister, who's tiny, right? That's Dwarf Bean. Right. And so that's pretty cool. So we have that arrangement, too, where where let's say uh, somebody the tortoises got too big, which is what happened. So they're like, hey, can we bring them back here and we'll help pay for them and pay for their care? So it's like, OK, you know, so that's what's going on there. So these are sulcatas, everybody. And like I said, we have 46 tortoises. So this whole year is really going to be about rehoming, you know, uh, and finding the right homes for a lot of tortoises. OK, so. Big tortoises, small tortoises, right? Check this out, everybody. Okay, uh, here's here's some things I want to say. Okay, last week, Sundays, we dropped a video, right? Sunday morning, the video just dropped like 10 minutes ago, but this video was dropped last Sunday. Remember, Suzanne? So this video is about these two right here. Who are these? Look at this is Digger. First of all, Digger is born here too. Okay, so Digger, I think Digger, Marie, if you're watching, there we are. We're back. Right. Okay, we're back. We're, we're, back. we're back. Okay. Hey, if we lost you, if we lost you, we're sorry. Technical difficulty. Oh, are you still there, everybody? Can you send us a message saying that you're saying you're there? So if you're still here, Marie, I wanted to say that the tortoise. That, that, that's, that's, that's coffee. The tortoise most like Max is not coffee. It's, 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 it's Digger. Okay. Why? Because Max and you guys, if you don't know Max, yeah, you're still there. Okay. If you don't know, you know, um, um, Max, then go to the playlist. Cause Max was the, the gentle giant of tortoise land. 
And who was like that? Okay, great. You know, who was like that is, is this guy, is, is Digger. Digger doesn't bother anybody. You know, Digger's just happy being Digger, right? Okay. Uh, whereas, whereas coffee down there wants to, you know, beat everybody up, right? And so absolutely this, I would say, is, is mostly is like Max, okay? All right. So let me set this water off here because our lagoon's going to be filling up. Look at it, okay? This is case in point down here, Suzanne, right? Look at it. This is case in point of what, you know, and if a, a small tortoise or a big tortoise, they get into stuff, right? It's like, why does she have to go here, right? You know, you know, why does she have to go here? Because it's there, right? So, you know, right over here. And if you're wondering what, what is this whole thing over here, this is our very cool adjustable, you know, fold out dividers for the tortoises. Because we like 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 coffee, who's aggressive, right? So I mean, we got to put them away, all right? Right? This is where shy girl laid eggs last time. So we're leaving this here, okay? Because the behavior she has is like she's gonna lay eggs. All right, I want to just fill you in on a couple things, right? And uh, bam, okay. So this is these two guys. If you didn't see the video, please. Check it out. There's two videos. Part one is the two little babies, Dumpster and Compton, that are sisters that were dumped in a, in a dumpster three and a half years ago. So the cool, this is what the picture of the video looks like. Okay. Check it out because it's three and a half years ago already. Uh, and this is, this is, this is Dumpster today. Okay. Again, another African Sakata, right? Okay. So, so I did a video the other day, which shows these guys where they are today. All righty. So African cicadas grow huge. All right. Today's video that we just dropped, Marie, I don't know if you saw it or anybody. So pretty cool video. It's part three, actually, of the Tim Bradley, the artist. I shut that off, right? Did I? Hold on. Did I? Let's see. Yeah, it's off. Okay. It's us. Okay. So it's part three of the artist, Tim Bradley, who's a personal, really great friend. He is an artist and prehistoric and an expert really in prehistoric um, animals, including tortoises and turtles. So part one, part one and part two of his videos, he, he draws them. He researches. He has 20 something children's books. Okay. So check them out on the videos. It tells you how to check them out. Right. So, so, so on this, the last video, he draws baby gigantuan okay it's pretty cool you know he does a sketch of baby gigantuan and here's what's really cool what's coming next finally maui i've been talking about maui for a while we've traveled uh, over a lot of different places over the last couple of years so there's a lot of videos that have been backlogged and i'm super excited that the next video is going to be our trip to maui couple of years ago, okay, where I got to swim with sea turtles. I got to talk to a couple experts there that, that we had a great time. And she's still a good friend, Magdalena. She works for a nonprofit there. And she sends videos about where the tortoises, where the turtles are and what's going on. So check that out. That's happening. All righty. Okay. Oh, uh, this happened this week. And this is important. One of the babies. Okay. Check this out. Okay, one of our nine. Okay, look at this is pretty crazy, everybody. This is some of the not the poop down here. Okay, but look at this. Okay, this is Digger, right? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tortoise is poop. Okay, there. Then you know it's just part of life, right? It's part of life. So that's a pretty decent poop. You know that means we're feeding them pretty good. Alrighty. So look at this. Digger, Digger could go over down here to make life simple. Right? Right? Digger could go down there, right? Digger's too big for up here, but Digger now likes to take this middle one. What a crack up, right? You know, likes to take the middle one. Can barely fit from here to there, but he still fits. So it's pretty funny. If you wanted, you know, the tortoises have personalities. Oh my God, right? So then, huh? Hi, Jinx. Look at this, right? You know, he's crazy, right? So, Hey, as long as he fits, see, you know, the easy path is down there. But oh, look who's look who's look who's coming around the corner. Tracy Wells, take a look. Okay. All right. Right. Okay, wait, I want to show you something that happened. Uh, okay, first let's talk about this baby. Okay. 
It's punk, everybody. Let me pick him up. Hey, punk, come here. Okay. So now, now, punk, you know, tortoises are cold blooded, as we talked about, right? Cold, they're cold blooded. So he's just warming up. They all have heat pads, right? So he hangs out with the big guys on the heat pad, right? And what he can't do is hang out with the littler guys, okay? Why? Because he bites, just like Nubi, the desert tortoise, okay? So you gotta, can't have that happen because biting a smaller tortoise or just biting in general, you know, could be open to infection, right? And stuff. So this little guy, I let him hang with the big guys. He can't do any damage, right? And he's adorable on his own, right? All right, okay. So here, what I wanna show you that happened this week to one of the babies, okay? We have the nine babies and they're doing great. However, the other day we noticed the last baby born, the tiniest, I was closed. See that? Okay. So, you know, if you have a, a tortoise and especially babies so vulnerable, this eye was shot. And I started using vitamin, um, vitamin E drops, right? I believe that it's over the counter. You can get them for your for your tortoises and that didn't do anything, okay? So what we do, took them to Dr. Shackley. That's what we do, right? Dr. Shackley's been handling all these tortoises, okay? For all these years. So amazingly, this little teeny guy, I wasn't sure, you know, what she could do. This is what she did, okay? So she found that he had something in his eye and even a tiny was able to flush it out, okay? And now he's on antibiotic drops once a day. And he's doing great, okay? So we're really happy. So we got the nine tortoises, babies in there. We're gonna show you along with baby Sheldon. That brings up this thing, as I hate to bring up, because of, you know, things like this, right? You know, um, you know, it costs money to care for the tortoises. So, you know, we got patreon.com, which is really cool, backslash the tortoise guy, because you can become a supporter like a baby Sheldon or for a buck a, a month, you get an egghead, it's called. It's, you know, all the little hatchlings, right? To help take care of them, right? A dollar a month, right? And guess what? You get really cool stuff like baby Sheldon for five bucks. What do you get? Thumbs up, I'm ready, okay? And we have we have PayPal and GoFundMe, Tortoise Land, okay? And that's nonprofit, that, that, I mean, that goes to our nonprofit, so that's completely tax deductible. So consider helping us out, a buck a, a, buck a month. So this is what happened. So what do you get at, for Patreon that you don't get from GoFundMe and, and, uh, and uh, um, PayPal? Is you get, like you're a member, right? So you get videos that nobody sees. Like for instance, pretty cool, yesterday, Charlie, came he lives in hawaii now he's the dude that brought us newbie who loves to bite everybody right newbie the desert tortoise and the two box turtles right what's she doing see okay this is why we're concerned about her behavior if you have a tortoise you know and she it's a she and she's doing stuff like this who does oh that's uh that's patty right hey patty I believe it's Pat, I'm pretty sure. Hey, it is, right? Um, so, so for Patreon, right? And Patty's a, a great supporter and, and she helps us financially and it's awesome. So if you join Patreon, what you, you get like cool things. We just, I just did this video this morning early. So this is like a six minute video. He came yesterday, surprised me. He lives in Hawaii and he's like, he's here for, he leaves today and he's like, I want to see my kids, right? So really fun video. He's an awesome guy. So we got to see, um, you know, Nuvi, and he got to see white. We couldn't find blue. Yeah, I couldn't find them. They're hibernating back there. Okay. So, um, so that's great. How you want to see this video? Join patreon.com. Okay. And you'll see it. All right. Okay. A couple more things. And we're going to go see the babies. We talked about the babies. Who's that right there? That's one of the babies. That's dumb stuff. Right. Okay. We talked about this is the video that we just posted this morning, which also is next week. We go to Maui. Okay, go to Maui, and that's pretty cool. That's a couple part series video. Oh, we talked about this dude who we're gonna go see because this dude's little eye is wide open now, thanks to Dr. Shackley and the great medical care we give the tortoises, right, Manny? Look at right here. Now, we were worried, you know, we were worried. If you got a little guy, especially, and you see something like this, I immediately get worried because that might mean the um, next step is to stop eating, and when they're that little. You can't do it, right? So get them to the vet right away. Hey, one other cool thing before I forget is I have a collaboration. We have a collaboration with a dude called Two Turtle Tom. 
You can check him out on YouTube, right? Two Turtle Talk. He's an expert in hinged tortoises, like baby green, you know, like box turtles. But he does, he doesn't do that. He does these species from Africa, really specific stuff. And he came to Tortoise Land recently, and and we love what each other does. So we we we're shooting and working on an episode that's to Turtle Tom because he's in Ohio, and 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 right here with the Tortoise guy. So we got lots of cool things coming up. All righty. So let's close the drawbridge, okay? And uh, let's see who's in here. Come here for a sec, okay? All right, look at Juvie. Hey, everybody, come here, bro. Is my mic on? Yeah, okay. Come on in here. Man, you want to take Juvie? You want to bring Juvie out? Okay, who's Juvie, everybody? Juvie's our beautiful, beautiful male redfoot, right? One, one of four redfoots we have. And Juvie, he needs a good home, everybody. He, he's, he's such a beautiful boy. We have so many beautiful boys. And this boy is super friendly. He's an amazing acrobatic climber. And, uh, and he's aggressive to the other tortoises, which is not great, right? So a lot of times the boys, some of them get aggressive, right? Lumpy, the female, she's aggressive, right? So like this guy, he's beautiful and one-on-one, -on -one, he's just amazing and he's a joy. And this year, like I said, we have 46 tortoises. So it's really about us and you guys helping us to rehome, to get proper home. So we don't just like, you know, they don't just go to anybody, right? But, you know, we have a procedure and we're working on that procedure because we only recently got our nonprofit status, right? So, so like, for instance, this guy, oh, my God, he, he, he would love a beautiful home, right? And, you know, you don't need a huge yard. You don't need a half an acre. We don't have that here, you know? You just need, you know, certain things to keep them active and fun and protected and heated, you know, okay? Whether indoors or outdoors. Hey, buddy. Right? All right. So he's like, hey, hey, consider rehome. Consider, consider adopting, right? We can't use the word adopting. It's rehoming. Very important. We don't adopt. We rehome. Right? <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, right. So forget that word. We rehome. Okay. And see, here's the thing. This beautiful boy, I put him out here. And the problem's going to be that he's either going to go bite somebody or... Or, or some of the aggressive tortoises are going to go bite him. Yeah? So we have to keep them separated. So that's why we have a priority list of, of tortoises that we really want to get homes for. Okay? You know, on the priority list. So know that's coming. I, let's go see the babies. Okay? How are we doing on time? Okay. 22 and a half. So we got to wrap it up. We do a live stream at 930 now on TikTok. And we had a contest. Everybody, you know, the contest to name the seventh baby that survived that crushed egg. And it was actually a TikTok person that picked that with the name was Crush, K-R-U-S-H. And what did they win? A Tortoise Guy t-shirt. Don't you want one? All the world wants one. Yes, yeah, right, huh? Oh, look at this, a Tortoise Guy hat, huh? Or oh, a skull cap, right? And there's Shy Girl going crazy, right? You know, you know? So here's the thing, Shy Girl is also, uh, just know this, that Shy Girl, as much as I would hate to see her go, she needs a big home. Soon, uh, on a Sunday, we are going to be taking all the tortoises to the park. Okay? Yes. Right? Say it again? Yes. Right? We're taking all the tortoises to the park because they need to roam, right? They need to eat that grass. So, yeah, all the neighborhood goes crazy. Everybody helps out, right? And we can't do it all the time. We need a lot of help to do that, right? If you live in L.A. and you can help, us volunteer, right? We need a lot of stuff. Uh, you know, a lot of stuff. How do you volunteer? The tortoise guy Kevin at gmail.com, right? That's how we love to take them to the park. We have a big tortoise mobile cart, right? Right? Super friendly, everybody. You want to go to the park? Take her. Yeah, you do. Okay. Okay. So there you go. Any questions? All right. So come on in. Let's go say hi to the babies real quick. See how they're doing. And a guess what? The second clutch of babies is due, are due, if they're going to be hatched, and it looks like they will based on the first clutch, are going to hatch any day, okay? The first, the first, clutch, the first clutch took 14, uh, 14 weeks, right? So Tuesday is 12 weeks, right? So if Shy Girl lays eggs again, we're not incubating everybody, okay? We're not going to incubate these, you know, okay? 
we did these because we didn't know if she was fertile. And my God, is she fertile, right? Oh, I want to show you who's there. Manny, right here, okay? Who's been spending a lot of time outside, everybody? Who's been spending a lot of time with, with, with his fellow kind, everybody? Who is it? Baby Green. Hey, Baby Green. What's up, big guy? Who's grown? Don't know if it's a girl or a boy. Baby Green is a hinge tortoise, right? Talked about two turtle Tom. What's a hinge tortoise? It means that he has a unique ability, if scared, to close up both sides, right? Okay? Yeah, huh? We're going to bring him in the house because he likes to hang with baby Sheldon and the babies, okay? But I let him come out here, and then we take them out here and put them on tables, which is what we have in the office, when the sun is out, which has been the last couple of days. So you want to go in the house? He wants to go in the house. Come on, right? Who's that? That's dumb stuff, right? Over here. Up, up, up. I want to show you. Can you hold two? Don't hold, hold little, little, uh, Baby green. All right, who's this? So remember I told you the video that you can only get from patreon.com? Let's see. This is this is newbie, everybody, right? This is newbie. This is who Charlie had newbie and red and green and red and uh, white and blue for 35 years. Fed them one thing: watermelon and romaine lettuce. Unbelievable. And look how good and beautiful, right? So this guy's also beautiful. And guess what though? He bites everybody. He's another biter, right? Yeah. So, you know, now this is a desert tortoise. So, we need, you know, you need a permit, you know, we, to uh, can't just like rehome them, you know, because it's a endangered species, right? So, but we have, we have ways to go through that, all right? So this beautiful boy, you know, I wish we had an acre of land, everybody, right? And that's our goal. That's our goal is, is to expand out and, and get a nice huge piece of property. And we can handle more and we can put them in the proper environments until we find homes for them. So this video with Charlie coming yesterday, like I said, you got to join Patreon.com. So we release videos there that no one else sees, right? Okay, without further ado, let's go see. Uh, you got you got baby green? Manny? Yeah. He's got baby green? Okay. Yeah. Okay, come on. All righty. Oh, you got baby? Yeah, hold on one sec. We'll put them in together. All right, so I want to show you real quick. We got to go because we got to do the live stream at 930. If you want to see the live stream there, you just go to TikTok. Well, yeah, okay. We got one minute. So here's here's that first clutch of eggs, okay? All righty. So, so you, know, you know, those hatch. These are red foot eggs. Maybe they'll hatch. Maybe they won't. This is what's left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve eggs out of 21 because we don't, this little guy we knew wouldn't hatch. How cool is that? So, you know, so nine eggs out of 21 hatch, right? So about 45%. Why did these not hatch? You know, can't really say. Why are those fertile? These are not, you know, the tortoise lays eggs. Not all of them are going to be fertile, okay? So here's what's happening right here. I see 9.30. It's okay, all right? A couple minutes. What's it? These, this is who is now on the docket to potentially hatch, right? This is her second clutch of eggs. Okay, we keep the temperature, you know, like we said, you know, about 85 because that's about half boys and half girls, maybe. Okay, there's a temperature dependent, the sex is. All right, so these guys will be 12 weeks Tuesday. Takes about 12 to 14. These guys start hatching 14 weeks, pretty much to the day, day after New Year's, right? And they hatch for about two and a half weeks, okay? So this is what could be happening. What we do with these, with these babies? Well, they're Africans, the guys are going to get really big. That's why we're not going to incubate anymore because we got to make sure we find homes for them. So in like five or six months when we know they're good and healthy, we'll be reaching out for great homes. Okay. All right. So one last thing. Let's go see the babies. And I want to thank you all for watching. Oh, wait, Suzanne, let's go see somebody. Somebody that doesn't want to be on camera. Right, Manny? Who is it? Where's he at? He must be in the office. I think. Rocky? He just doesn't like being on camera on the live streams. Go figure. All right. So come out. Oh, there he is. Look at everybody. World famous. Who is it? Come here. Look. Who is it? World famous. Yeah, I know. Huh? World famous. This is Craig Gray Rocky, everybody. Right, man? Go ahead. You could go ahead and put baby green down. Okay. Look at this. See, you want to hold the boy? No. <laughs> he loves you, though. And Piper, okay? Yeah, right? He hasn't had his morning walk. And the morning walks is when we pick all the grass, the wild grasses, right? 
for the for, for the babies for the babies okay so here's baby green right we put him in the water here's what i do watch first thing he's going to do is drink water guaranteed watch okay because that's what the babies do see that right okay hi rocky yeah now where are the babies you ask well ready for this they like to hide out Woo. okay right let's see everybody in there Right? This is our guy. So we have UV light. We have infrared light. Right? So at night, the infrared comes on. Right? So they don't see that light. Right? Um, okay. But the key is you keep them warm, everybody. Really important. Okay? Really important. When I first got into doing this, I didn't know to have a thermostat down here. And guess what I did? I killed. I hate to say, but I did. Well, I am going to say it because that's how that's how we learn, right? I didn't know to have a third. There wasn't there also wasn't Google then or stuff, you know. Okay, so I didn't know how important it is to have a thermostat. So you make sure the light, you know, the height and all that is proper. So yes, I did. I didn't. I didn't. I couldn't understand why they weren't doing well, and I put this thermostat in, and it was like a hundred degrees. Okay, but I'm being honest, everybody. I'm not the expert. And this was early on. I didn't know what I didn't know. So this is what I'm telling you. So you're setting up an environment. You make sure, okay, the high temperature, the low temperature, right? 90, 80, something like that. So setting you right so that they can explore. Look at them going there. Okay, so look at it. We'll just go through everybody real quick. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Somebody somewhere. Eight. Okay. He's here. Some oh, nine. He there he is. And who's this, everybody? Crush. Huh? Crush. This is this is no, this oh. isn't crush. Crush crush is number seven. Okay. Crush is right here. Okay. This is crush. It's all dirty. Okay. But this is crush. This is this who won the contest, right? For the for the t-shirt with a K. Crush was the one who survived that that egg. If you haven't seen the video, it's uh, Miracle Baby Survives uh Crushed Egg. Okay. It's really something, right? There's crush. Now this guy right here, who's this? Look, let me show you. Okay. This is our beautiful number nine that needs a name, right? But look at I want to show you that eye is open. You see that? Look at that open eye. We just talked about how that eye was closed, and that's a real worrisome sign for a little baby especially. So what did we do? Brought him to Dr. Shackley. Okay? Cleared his eye out. Amazing. Little teeny toys on antibiotics, one drop a day. That's why we need your help. Patreon.com, PayPal, GoFundMe. Help us help uh, the tortoises out. So here's the deal. Baby Sheldon had a big setback. Big setback on, uh, ye on yesterday. He lost uh, like seven grams. He was up to 96 grams. This little boy, he's up now. See, he's this, he's, a, he, he, he's like a chronic, um, he has, he has trouble, you know, like genetically, right? He's progressing upward. That's why we take him twice a week to get syringe fed, you know, but he was like 96 and I was like, yeah. And, and this last, yesterday was 89 grams. Again, patreon.com, all that help us out. Okay. So look at everybody's great though. Everybody's super healthy, right? First thing in the morning. How about this? These guys know, uh, like the other day I walk in here and, and the, these guys are all in there on their own. Okay. They know they're all in the water dish on their own. Okay. So now they got it down. They know to drink. Okay. They know where to go. I still soak them every day, no matter what, because that's really important. We have a humidifier, all that stuff, right? So, and I keep over here the fresh stuff. Let me show you. Right? Having dogs. Having dogs is the coolest thing because what? We go walk, right? We go walk and then we go what? We pick all our wild flowers and our wild grasses. We got to go pick more, but, you know, dandelion leaves, all kinds of stuff, right? And they get their fresh greens. And that's not all, though. They get the Missouri tortoise chow, right? Look at these beautiful guys, right? Uh huh. So they can crawl out of here on their own now. And I put them out in the sun, right? I put them out in the sun. Uh, and, uh, and, and that they love that, right? And how old are Sheldon? Sheldon is a year and two months old now. Okay. No, I know, right? You know, he's, uh, you know, he's growing. See this? He's got the shell growth. And look at this, everybody. Look at the growth already. These guys are only a couple weeks old. You see that? You see that? 
around that. That's how you tell, like your fingernail, right? They are growing tremendously, right? So doing really well here in tortoise land, okay? I, like I said, use the plastic containers. If you can go wide a little bit, Suzanne, don't use glass ever. Not good. No ventilation. They sell those in, in all the pet stores and stuff, the glass, but I, I'm not recommended, okay? No, okay? Tubs, plastic, low and the good ventilation. And guess what? You pick them up and bring them outside, okay? We can't do that with a glass tank, you know? The sun's out, bam, bring them up. They're out there. Okay, everybody, got to go. Thanks for watching. Look for the video that dropped just now. It's pretty cool. Tim the Artist, Tim Bradley, the prehistoric paleontologist guy, 25 children's books. When you can check his stuff out, it's pretty cool. We have some of his books right here. Okay. And uh, thanks for, thanks for, we have 5,500 5, subscribers now. All right. And it gets us some companies are starting to say, hey, would you like to do a collaboration? All right. Bye. Okay, everybody. Okay. Look at these guys eating. Okay. So going close there. Let's see everybody eating. Have a great day. Oh, look at it right here, too. This is charcoal. Look at that charcoal, huh? Yes. Right. We're going to go pick you some fresh green. Oh, look who decided to wake up, huh? He's in there with these guys because you know why? They keep him going, right? He wants to sleep all the time. He's a, he's a hibernator. And, and so, okay, Trey. All right, kids, here we go. Thanks for watching the tortoise guy. And we're going to Maui next, next week. That's what the video will be on Sunday. Hey, you guys are awesome. Love you all. Thanks for comments. If I haven't got to your comment, I'll do it as soon as I can. The tortoise guy, Kevin at gmail.com. All righty. Peace out. Boom.